Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's your time somewhere. Hello, I'm Biff Baxter with the last episode of Motherboards.org News for 2011. And in today's hot news, no pun intended, the motherboard, the motherboard, the board is on fire. We don't need no water, let that mother fracker burn. Oh, you guys might have seen that review out there where the guy said that he burned up a Gigabyte UD3 motherboard, the new X79 type. I just want to tell you guys, you guys have seen Elwer's opinion, and I just want to give you the Biff's opinion as well. Nobody would just film a motherboard sitting there. That would be boring. It would be like filming a picture of a rock. If you were actually doing overclocking, you'd film your scores that are on the screen, not the motherboard. The Biff said this is an intentional video just out to make Gigabyte look bad. You guys all know as well as I do that motherboards just don't go on fire. Unless... Overclocking for dummies. It says here, some motherboards can be overclocked by simply pushing a button. In other news, on the complete other side of the spectrum, we see High Cookie overclocking the same UD3 motherboard from Gigabyte to 5.6 GHz, a new world's record. Congratulations on that. This week we have very contradicting news. On one hand, we have the motherboard burning. On the other hand, we have the motherboard overclocking. Crazy stuff. Next up on the news. Ivy Bridge. What is it? Well, first of all, nope, it's not that little fruity character you see on Pokemon. It's a new chipset and platform from our friends over at Intel. Rumors have it that on April 8th, Intel released 17 new desktop CPUs and 8 notebook CPUs. So far, Intel has failed to comment on this news, but I'm really looking forward to it, as are all the other Intel fans out there. And finally, the last news of 2011. AMD fans, more time for you guys to rejoice. The new 7950 specs have been slightly released. What is it? Well, you still get three gigabytes of GDDR5, you get the 384-bit memory interface, and you get 1,792 stream processors. Some of the other stuff's not out, but we're looking at about a $400 price range, so be on the lookout as the new year comes around. Thanks for watching Motherboards.org. We're looking forward to seeing you guys here back in 2012. Woohoo! Happy New Year, everybody.